Welcome back, comrades. We are starting now the third episode in our installment of Very Hard Cosmonaut Start uh, without any mods, without the use of oil or something digging out of the ground, simply starting and without loans. So, yeah, we make it a little bit harder for ourselves. Um, we have laid out the very basic uh, city, which I explained last time. And the objectives for this time are um, complete the sewage system, create an industrial area, and look where we land. Okay, so before we start, let's have a look at these houses. These are a little bit... Uh, not really in a line. <laughs> the first ones are, the second one don't. Don't know really what happened there. The objective of this town is not to be the prettiest uh, on the world, but uh, I don't want to trigger anyone too hard in building something which is not really in line, so let's align these uh, the back row of these apartments. Stay with me. Yeah. Okay. So they are somehow uh, aligned to the road. Maybe the road didn't exist before, I don't know. Let's try to. What did we do here? Let's, let's make it so. so I tried to align them to the before and also to the road which didn't seem to work as good last time we drifted out a little bit like you see by the <laughs> by the remnants of these houses okay why this alignment um, it's fairly simple I want simply want to use the make the most use of the space and um, also give them a road connection later on like this one here um, but at the moment we want to um, we want to construct the roads in a bigger part in bigger parts. Next one, uh, we stop all constructions because I want to say when when is constructed what. So give me this tool. Say this one. Yes. Don't construct here anything. Uh, the water supply which we created last time can start to be constructed. What I also want is our gravel storage is full, so this is nice, so we can gravel up our most important road, which is to the border. This one, this one. I hope the comrades will start, because I experienced a bug last time, which they wouldn't, just, wouldn't start to uh, gravel this up. Let's see if they, what they do. Found a bunch of things. Unfinished road, unfinished road. But do not move. Yeah, it's the, basically this bug. So, um, because I blocked off the border, they want to get asphalt from the border and don't get it. Now they move! Fantastic game. We rephrase it, uh, the border is blocked and they get no asphalt, they want to do something with asphalt, so they say, oh, whatever, yeah. Uh, and they don't get the gravel which they can reach. Maybe bug report is pending here. Okay, so the, the road will start and we will build, we build it up slowly. See, uh, our road construction crew has, the, has something. Let's hope they get it. Um, this crew, are you, do you feel responsible for roads also? Yes, you do. Maybe at the start you can. We have, if everyone helps with the construction, we can also grab up this one. 
this one. Yeah, why not? This one. Is it one piece? It's one piece. This one. I want to have one piece. It's uh, fairly simple. If um, they start to work on one piece as one piece. Okay, this one is not working. Um, if they start as one piece, uh, it's way faster than they have small pieces and need to always uh, deliver the mechanization to the project and so on and so forth. They can, yeah, they are able to go for themselves. Later on, I will activate it so that uh, the flatbeds will carry them. This is why every one of these little. Um, crews have their own flatbed, one for delivery of uh, the flatbed goods, but on the other hand for the delivery of the mechanizations. Okay, cookie. So, back to the objective. Um, to recap, uh, little town, basic amenities, what is missing here is um, hospital, fire station, a bus stop, and some other things which are will be essential in the future like i said the, the goal is to um, build this little city up to the state of um, having crime and justice having the university having um, a radio station so to uh, build up basically where you can expand and do not worry about anything because the, ra the radio station is like the end boss in the Cosmonaut Challenge, if you have no radio station, your loyalty will be at a very low level. You will experience this in the start. And um, if the loyalty is low, um, it works, but it works very bad. We play on hardest settings, so the happiness of our people gets down the toilet very fast. 80%, uh, 85% happiness is a very good value. I think we will achieve max happiness, which is possible for our needs. Uh, we have no charge, but all other amenities uh, we try to deliver. We have a very, very good apartments with 92% housing, which also plays into the happiness. Yeah, so let's talk about planning. <laughs> um, in the underground, we have the water system, which pumps out the water here, pumps it here. Um, it's into the water treatment here into the pump and here for the people. And uh, so let's lay out our cells with the industrial and heating complex. Oh, this one I don't want. Um, a good spacing between the city and the heating plant will be. I think 700 meters. The heating pipe is extremely, extremely um, costly. So uh, we can go shorter than six, 700 meters, but it would be not so nice. So let's take our tool and measure it out. We put heating in here. We have 700 meters. <laughs> like, delivered like ordered. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's minimize the window so this tool, uh, this thing does not go away. Um, we had the. Uh, we built our town around the water and sewage supply because this is the shortest thing we, each, we can have. Uh, the heating is a little bit longer, so let's give me a big heating substation that would point here so. let's do it like so let's try to outline this will be a, a problem because uh, I'm not playing with the grid, but I like to have somehow a little bit ordered outline of my city. So I try to uh, make them angular to each other. Which is a great way, because uh, 
the rest of the outline of the city is by the main roads. So if you if you try to if you paint in the main road outline Anglia city to this, uh, you have some main roads and outline your city and have it be the outline the city builds a little bit itself uh, from the style. Keep it Soviet, uh, squarish, and it's, it's fine. I'll do it like you, ever you want. So this one reaches everything. We have some wiggle room here. So if you build something behind the houses, it will be nice. Let's plonk this in here. Okay. Always use the big heating. Oh, let's deactivate the mods because we don't play with mods. We don't want to be tempted with the mods. Yep. Everything, please do. This is a checkbox. It should not be a checkbox. It should be a radio button, but yeah, whatever. Um, This is our biggie. We saved a few meters, so we go here a little bit farther away with a few meters. Do it like so. Not like so. Let's make the roads. So we. Have a look. What will be the orientation of this uh, little industrial complex? The beauty of this start is that it works everywhere. I haven't. Uh, I don't know even what what uh, things are in the vicinity to uh, to uh, earn some extra money. For example, oil or something. Uh, don't know. Not interested. We simply go our way and um, go into the closest chain, which is great because you know you have the freedom. You only need to. Something looks a little bit off here. Keep it this way or not? Maybe not. Sometimes one or two degrees and can drive someone crazy. But it's fun, so um, I have to pay attention that if I uh, dial in, so to speak, the um, this industrial complex, is a, it has a slightly different uh, angle than this one, but it makes, in my mind, the whole city, the whole surrounding look a little bit more organic. And if you have everything angular to the uh, freaking grid. Oh, it's nearly angular to the freaking grid. <laughs> but because they are, uh, the city isn't. Uh, let me see. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you see, not gridded. This one is gridded. So it will help me. Uh, this one will help me if it's gridded. I can use the grid. Yeah, why not? Amy win. So, like I said, heating pipe, extremely, extremely uh, high cost factor, 80 tons of steel, uh, plus 9 tons of uh, mechanical components. So, it's, let's say it's nearly 100 tons of steel, 100 times 400, it's uh, 40,000 rubles. Yeah, and it's this plate here. So, <laughs> 40,000 rubles uh, does this thing cost. We save a little bit of money because uh, working hours, uh, we will. Yeah, 40,000 nonetheless. So this is one of the... Uh, it costs more than the heating plant. We look at the heating plant. Um, you have two tons of mechanical components and only yeah, 70 tons of steel. So uh, yeah, it's a little bit more than the heating plant. Uh, no joke. Um, if you want to go more than 700 meters, I would su uh, suggest to go underground. Uh, underground, you can up go up to 1,000 meters. Uh, but then you run into troubles. Uh, never go further than 1,000 meters, is what I would suggest, uh, simply. If you need to go further than 1,000 meters, uh, you need a second heating plant. Uh, don't try to uh, work with the heating pump stations. For me, they don't work. Simple as that. Okay. Uh, 
and kimple, keep it simple, we shall try. Because um, Workers and Resources is a bunch of systems which, if you build them unreliable, you'll run into uh, problems. Which maybe you experience or you don't. If you don't experience these problems, good for you. But um, every system which can fail in Workers and Resources will fail. Uh, at least this is my experience in this game. So um, I try to build the uh, uh, most reliable systems and uh, simply have fun and not be on the ropes. Uh, let's, let's change the perspective because we, we have one guiding line, so uh, heating pipe, so we can use it. Uh, like I said, not everything's straight. But if you have guiding lines, uh, keep them parallel to each other. It looks much nicer. Okay, okay. We are here, we have the most important thing for ourselves, it's the heating plant. Mm, to let our city survive, the goal of the construction phase will be... I can let them work. The goal of the construction phase will be to start at the uh, next uh, summer season. Uh, this season we will skip and only, uh, only keep constructing. Give me a little bit more grass, thank you. Um, do we, can we, have we fields? Let's check. Yeah, one field. Yeah, okay. This is uh, quite nice and comfortable. So uh, farming will be definitely an option, um, because we don't want to uh, go on the natural resources, but uh, the crops are great for our uh, plan to have empire of sweatshops where we produce the clothes for the whole for the whole western <laughs> westerners. Oh god, I see here these are um, <laughs> some historic parallels where we are the uh, cheap clothes production for the for the western bosses. Mm. Fantastic. get connected to the border. No, this, uh, no, 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 no SimCity here, please. Oh, oh. Uh, don't use SimCity me. Acceptable. Um, so, Yes, 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 yes. So we have here the foundation and uh, the rest of the industrial complex <laughs> before buildings uh, will be laid out by uh, this foundation. Um, we need, uh, let's start with the bus station, maybe um, we have this one out of our minds. station here so yeah maximal straight runway from the central bus station to this bus station here the walkways are fine the pre-flatted land uh, does not give us any problems okay moving on uh, we go to the close central it's our future right First the two sweatshops. Mm. Ah, we said we have the perfectly uh, fantastic outline of this one. Snap me in, brother. <laughs> uh, I'm not good with the grids, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, 
So I have to joke to uh, hide my insecurities uh, of gridding the whole thing like a like a good Sim City player. Okay, I want to have a connected industrial complex where I have um, everything produces and goes to one warehouse. Mm. These sweatshops have a front side and a back side, so we will make use of the front side. Plonk this in like that. And turn this around and around. And make it like. We want to have some space. Do we have. Yeah, people access. It's great. Okay. Wonderful. Next thing we need is the uh, storage, which we may, maybe have here, maybe we don't. Uh, go to place where the storage is the forklift, because why not? So, what we plan? Left, right, left, right, left, right. Stop. Uh, let's see. Oh, thank you very much. Forklifts can be a bitch. So we go here. We have here one access. Here one access. I want to have uh, two access points for um, later on because we need to. Uh, have a good um, the fabric factory which we built now is a massive crop eater so let's feed it in with crops give me the yeah sweatshop city and we go for this one and we do it out like so can we do it so? Where's the, where's the exit? Where's the exit? So maybe so? Mm -hmm. Extremely close to the bus station. All uh, delivered by the fine grid. But if we are so close to the bus station, we cannot move out. But I think it will be no problem because uh, we have the road here and. Uh, it's very, very close, everything, so the comrades can walk on the street. What should go wrong? Reckless driving bus, bus drivers, for example. No, no, no. Uh, bus drivers recklessly driving over, over, over people. No, 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 no. Ever, ever. Um. <laughs> ah, goodness. Uh. So I don't know what what the problem with the game is, but the uh, uh, 45, 90 degree angles. Get so? Ah, that's fine. Uh, 90 degree angles and uh, cargo loading stations are not a friend. In general, stations. So I. It's hard to sometimes to let's plonk this also in so we have the space reserved. This one is a little bit more friendly. It's a uh, mirror it. The grid off. Look at this. It goes like butter. All restrictions went away. I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> Sorry. I have problems hiding my uh, version. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is what, what we're talking about. So you go away, you get copied, and we try it again. This time, another installment of uh, where the frick should I go? Next round. Thank you very much. As if we work with professional people here. Yes. Um. So. 
Industrial complex. <laughs> Ready to go. Packed, tight and uh, absolutely... Yeah. The grounds of the right angle need to be pleased. It will be hard. <laughs> Is it possible? Maybe yes, maybe no, maybe yes. I tell you, if I change the perspective, it will not... Yes! <laughs> Major pain behind. <laughs> Second try, right perspective, or the right angle. Keep it right, make it right, having... Uh, being a good Soviet angled citizen. Make it so, make it so. Noodle our way to victory. Okay, okay. Can we go here? No. No. This is yes. 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 Because <laughs> it works so nice, we all <laughs> kill it at once. Uh, kill it and delete the point. Forget you ever existed, please. Thank you. Because points are evil if you build roads. I think you are very aware of that. Uh, if not, uh, trust me. It all makes sense if you play the game hundreds of hours. <laughs> everyone, everyone does the same drill here with the points. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's have a look what uh, our industry does. Ooh, we have we have one road, second road. We have someone work, nobody working here at the road. Our excavators are lazy. Have I told them to not build roads? Or they should build roads. Why don't they build roads? Get here. Get to work. What? You don't want to work? Ah! Is there someone? Ah! There is someone working. I'm sorry, comrade. Nothing said. Uh, Okay, here also, one here, one there, okay, and gravel there, so no work out of here, they work. Oh my freaking god. So our grand plan to save time, not going at the border, is our biggest nightmare now. That's bad. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, if it works bad, what would we do? Right. We built it a second time. Um, like the saying goes, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, double shame on you. <laughs> no, I simply... We are in money-saving mode and we are in uh, building not the right angle mode. So, because we are in money-saving mode, um, I simply can't afford it to uh, make something other than that. So what, what I plan is to separate them up into two groups and have one group going here, the other one going here. The uh, gravel distribution office gets something more to gravel in, which is, I think, okay. Unload to 80%, yes. Um, because our small border is our next uh, big piece of joy, which, yeah. Okie dokie, so we have industrial complex, we are working hard. Maybe not so hard on our roads, uh, but we have uh, our access to the border is returned. Mm, 
can we do something here? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I have to wait until the very important roads are done. Can gravel up this road, but uh, maybe I will wait. Uh, I wait until the city will be built up. But this is a critical infrastructure, so let's make it so. And uh, gravel this one up. Yeah. Okie dokie. So we are here, we have the bus access, a little bit convoluted. Uh, we have here place for some fields and some configuration if you want to start farming. But farming is far away. Uh, first objective is uh, building up the town, making money. And to do this, we need water. Our comrades need water because no water, no fun. Uh, for whatever reason. <laughs> um, yeah. We have the water system here, which is the central point of our little city, township, village, call it, whatever you like. And uh, now we plunk in some water here. The uh, fabric factory needs extra water, which is uh, can be dirty water, dirtier water. <laughs> So we need to keep in mind to have uh, some, leave some space here and um, the outflow also needs to be recognized and dealt with. So I always like to build the water and the outflow in one location, uh, maybe here. Yeah, I think that's nice. Uh, everyone has water, who needs water, yeah. It's very, very tight here. So, if you look at the top, uh, you can build something here. But after that, game over. You can build something here. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. We have uh, people access. People access from here. Okay, yes. So, uh, mirror this one so we can have construction access. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, water and every good water system has a sewage system. This way. If we, uh, we are on very uh, money saving mode, so this one <laughs> I usually. Uh, money saving and no mods. Oh, what a perfect combination. Yeah. So this one is... Uh, usually I have a mod where I have three in, three out and have a bigger... Um, bigger down, downwards area. Um, this this uh, center is uh, quite small, so... Uh, if you know what you are doing, you can use this uh, smallest uh, sewage pipe. If you don't know what you are doing, use the middle one or the biggest even. Yeah, welcome to problem land. So you don't want to go because... Requires more lower terrain. At least we can be grateful for the warning before we uh, constructed this one. Because <laughs> if the warning came afterwards, yeah, a fun comrade. So, um, especially in cosmonaut mode, um, fun is... Fun is there. Hmm, so, okay, okay, change of plans. So we get switch here. The switch. Yeah, like I said, there's a great mod where it's a three by three uh, switch switch, and it has uh, it goes t deeper underground, so you don't have the problems to, uh, which I now have. What is this? 
it was so nice we did it twice 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 triple times yeah the the uh, loss in elevation is very small so you can't pull out these things too much it even looks like it goes upwards what's going on here let's pray to the sewage gods that it's got this, this will work <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, so we have this one. We don't need this one. I still want. I still like to have water and switch at the same place because you cannot have one without the other. And uh, yeah. If it's not in reach in the, of the water, it will not be reach in the, at the switch. So having them separated is a little bit uh, annoying. Oh, we need to cross the line. Let's see if this works. Um, having them separated is a little bit annoying. Because you don't make the... I'm sorry thinking and uh, talking at the same time is harder than you expect you uh, you don't want to go into situations where you have water and no switch or the opposite way and if you divide them you always need more buildings than if you keep them close together so <laughs> maybe we turn it this way around and uh, plunk it in come on no yes no more no than yes. What's going on here? Let's take a look. It would should be nice. What's your problem? Is it too little elevation here? Let's hope we have some bulldozers and excavators left. No, we don't. We have excavators so we can go up and down, but we cannot flatten. Let's try this theory. Yes. Oh, what joy. switch outlet can we go out yes you can go out so everything is nice fine we need switch pipes the medium pipe goes to the city because the medium the city has a medium water pipe if you pull in a medium water pipe in you need a medium switch pipe out which is mostly logical <laughs> big exception for this game but uh, yeah here we are. Make it so because yeah, that's safe on this. Switch pipes are not so terribly expensive. I mean, yeah, fourteen thousand uh, bucks. It's okay. I'm counting in rubles because I have rubles, and if, if there's something displayed, I'm counting the rubles. If it's uh, not displayed, uh, by the way, we have uh, nothing built and have one quarter of our budget already spent, mostly in vehicles. Um, if if there's nothing displayed, I'm counting in hard steel. So, yeah. left, right, left, right. Mm. The chemical plant also needs one output, so... Uh, so, I still don't know if I go left or right. Mm. We'll make it work. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, what? Hmm. 
We don't want to do it. Well, ah, maybe I have the wrong... I have the wrong thing in the switch selected. Ah, I wanted to do that, this one. Wait. This one I want. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. So, is the last one functional? Yeah. I have hopefully selected the smallest one. Oh no, don't remember. It costs 16,000. I think it's the smallest one. It's a little bit longer. Yep. The water system is, uh, for many people, a big, big source of joy, and I can totally understand it. I also struggled at the beginning, um, and then I sat down and simply took measure how many, how much water is needed for what. Um, said it in the last last episode that ah, thank you um, that for uh, per thousand people you need uh, ten cubic meters of water production. So this water system is uh, laid out for. 3,000 people, so I expect three, 30 cubic meters a day. I have a pump with 50 cubic meters, and uh, the pipes are laid out for 50 cubic meters uh, to the city and 20 cubic meters to the industrial complex. The industries also need a separate water line, which you have maybe seen. Um, but it can be uh, unfiltered water, so if, if something accepts unfiltered water, uh, always provide unfiltered water. If it has water in, it has sewage out, so we need this contraption here. Uh, fairly standard. Bigger, easiest thing is uh, go point to point, go always a medium or bigger pipe, but we are here in uh, money saving mode, so I try to be as as small as possible, which always uh, is a risk, because if you have, don't know your calculations or have miscalculations, it can happen that we also ran into problems, because it is also tight, so the system gets more fragile, which I normally don't like. But uh, the money situation is here visible for everyone, so having essentially constructed nothing, uh, we are still uh, one quarter near to bankruptcy as before. The goal is still to take no loans. Ah, yeah. Comrades are busy. And also busy waiting. Let's let's separate these very talented people. Uh yes, dumpers are people too. And you get your gravel from here. And this is a nice one. And the rest from here. Oh, frick. Get, please, everything from here. Yes. And the gravel we want from here. Bloop. What was this for sound? Where uh, do we have to grab it? Yeah, it looks so. So, comrades, sorry, need to turn around, maybe. Maybe you won't. Hopefully you do nothing stupid. Okay. This one is going on, this one is... What is the fuel situation in our... So fuel is okay, so we can um, gravel out the next main road. Will be this one. Nah. Don't want to delete all the points by hand, so. Okay. 
Yes. So this is a nice uh, point of stopping and maybe a short recap. I talked about the financials. Finances. Finances. Um, talked about the finances. Um, we have created a water and sewage system for the whole uh, city. We want to uh, rise up in short, shortly. I will not work with foreign workers from the border because I think it's a crutch. If, if you uh, have your republic, your workers should make your money and not some fudging around with a foreign workers which is waiting here for a job. Maybe. Yeah. So um, they are here to construct my city and not to uh, help me with this one. I don't know if the if they got the call to go here. Hopefully. Um, the open storage here is terrible. Simply is. So uh, I wanted to lift off a little bit weight of my border because uh, we play with the smallest border. Because my other routes are easy enough, so I thought, okay, Dennis, we need something really hard. No, it simply is the layout of the land. So uh, I didn't. I I was so happy to find a nice place where we can start. So <laughs> uh, I took the border with me, and um, yeah, we have water, we have electricity. Uh, not in the city, we have a little industrial complex. We have. Um, we need to make the we need to electrify the city. We need uh, some smaller buildings which must be plonked in. Um, also, there's a hospital and fire station still missing. There's a kindergarten missing. But the uh, uh, main interesting points are laid out. So in the center, the small shopping center, which everything looks like everything. But trust me, it's a small shopping center, which is small meat storage. Um, yeah, and hopefully um, next episode the uh, comrades can go to work. We are now at the 20th May. Yeah. So stay tuned for the next episode and have a great one. Bye, comrades. <laughs>